Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video two days ago about Windows 10 Update KB5004237. That was this month's Patch Tuesday cumulative update. That was obviously for July 2021, which rolled out around about the 13th of July. And KB5004237, um, some users after installing the update earlier this month found they were unable to print or scan after installing the update and now as of yesterday Microsoft has started rolling out an emergency out of band um, update that's two updates and these aren't scheduled updates these are out of band emergency updates and that's to address the printer issues that were caused by this month's patch Tuesday cumulative update and those updates are KB5005394 that is for Windows 10 and KB5005392 for Windows 7. Now, if you are just an everyday user of Windows 10 and you go to check if you have the update, you most probably won't find it as KB5005394 has been rolled out mainly for enterprise editions of Windows 10. And um, so you most probably won't find it if you are checking for the update. It's rolled out for enterprise editions of Windows 10. And then obviously KB5005392 has rolled out for Windows 7. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that um, the problems caused by KB5004237, Microsoft said um, occurred on devices that didn't comply with certain specifications and mainly used the smart card authentication on those printers and devices. And now these two patches that have rolled out recently, uh, Microsoft says will update the issue that might prevent printers, scanners and multifunction devices from working incorrectly and not working properly. So you can also find these um, two updates over on the Microsoft Update Catalog if you would like to download and, and manually install them. And then if we just pop over to the Microsoft Support web pages, here we can see KB5005394. And this started rolling out yesterday, the 27th of July, 2021. And yeah, you will see if you have been experiencing any of these problems, mainly in enterprise editions of Windows 10, you can go find out um, exactly what the update addresses and the issues it has corrected. And then the other one for um, Windows 7, KB5005392. And that's also for, uh, that's obviously Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and also Windows Server 2008. And you can also go find out what that addresses. And I will leave both web pages, the links for these web pages down below for you to go check out if you are interested. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.